Okay, so yes, we are finally getting around to seeing the lovely, lovely doll that I bought, that I bought, I didn't buy her, I won her <laughs> at the Doll and Teddy Fair. Um, if you watched that video, um, then you will see that I put my ticket in, my entry um, raffle ticket into the box that had Claudia for winning and I won and I was so excited but I've only just got around to now opening her because it's been busy and restful. I've had to rest, rest, rest a lot in amongst doing other things and um, yeah so Russ is away tonight filming this Thursday evening. Russ is away overnight so an ideal time to film this. I've got a nice fire going, if that's what you can hear. Millie has a little bit of a cough, so if you hear her coughing, don't worry. It's just the doggy coughing away. And I think I'm at the end of my tree now. It's not at the end of the little bits of it underneath, but at the end of the tree. Just taking me so long these days. Never, ever, ever, ever took me this long before to do a tree. And we've even downsized, so... And I'm almost at the end of my Limax Christmas display. So you will be seeing that next week as well. Uh, probably next week. I think um, I just want to get some more some more snow to put on there. Um, and then I think I'll be happy with it. And I'll do that this weekend. And that shopping trip, I will take you with me because we will be playing it forward with some um, stuff for charity. And I'll talk all about that in that video. But anyway, I've got my lovely faithful friend here. She is amazed at, with the tree. Well, they all are. They all just can't stop staring at the tree. Um, but of course, I'm going to, I'm opening a dolly. So Emma Jane is going to want to be here, isn't she? <laughs> but, uh, you're on a big stand. Well, I've got extended legs on my stand, see? So if you hear noises as well, there's noises of this. Um... Now, I don't really like it much on this stand because it doesn't move. It's not very move, moving friendly. Anyway, here it is. It is the holiday spirit reminiscent of Christmas's past. Claudia, sculpted by Helen M. Carr. And she's from the Hamilton collection. I'm sure if you're a doll collector, you will have come across these collections and um, I did show her a little bit in the video uh, in the when I was at the doll show well you just saw her in the box with the two little bits out of the box so um, yeah let's have a look all right let me just make sure I'm recording yes oh there we go sit down on this little table because I still have a bad back from oh from Monday morning, taking a push chair out of the boot. I didn't bend my legs and I just, oh, hurt my back there. So here she is. <clears throat> so that's what we saw. We saw her in the box and out of the box was a sleigh. Let's have a look at her sleigh. So I put, there was, um, I think there were three. There was an Ashton Drake, another collectible doll, and this one. And then there was a big box full of lots of goodies, lots of um, yummy sweeties and festive goodies like that. And then there was something else. Oh, a cushion. So one of my friends won the cushion. Was that you, Sharon? I think that was you. And uh, this this is it's not new. It's a collectible and it's been well used. It's got um, white snow on it. So you can see that it's had that snow added to it. But it's a sleigh. Oh, it's a sleigh. And I'm thinking that maybe this is the, this is the holder. This is what it came with anyway. And then she also had this little dog. Oh, goodness me. Oh. So your mum's hands and dropping things don't get any better. This is this is mummy, isn't it? Hey, so that's my mummy. 
It is. And then this doggy. See this little doggy? I, think that, I don't know if that's meant to be all the way around his neck rather than wrapped around his head like that. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's glued on. So there we go. So that's a little doggy. And he's got antlers. See, like a reindeer. You want me to find you some? Hang on then. Put him in there, and I'll dodge past the tree. Um, I think we've got some in here. In our little box down here. You want antlers? Okay. Timothy's been wearing these as well, hasn't he? There you go. <laughs> You're a silly old shortage. We bought them for Grumpy Grand, didn't we? Last year, because she was here for Christmas, we bought them for Grumpy Gran. Oh, you can't see her, Auntie. So she is. <laughs> Grumpy Gran. So Grump Russ's husband, Russ's husband, Russ's mother doesn't do Christmas like I do. Anyway, let's get this one out. So we had to get her a funny headband last year. There we go. Take her out very, very carefully. He's got a stand. And he's got something here in a bag. Or maybe it's just, um, maybe it's a little cushion to go in the sleigh. Let's have a look. Oh, do you know what that is? What do they call them? It's a hand muff, isn't it? You put it around your neck and you put your little hands in to keep your handies warm. Oh, I'm so glad I chose her for my ticket. And even better, I won her. <laughs> so I did say thank you very much to the lady that organised the whole event. Here is her certificates. Helen Carr was previously a nurse for, for 25 years before um, embarking on a new career path of doll artist. While earning her master's degree in nursing, she attended several art classes, bringing out the immense talent for sculpting and painting within her. During a trip to Switzerland, Helen saw Helgard Gunzel's dolls and fell in love with doll making. This love inspired her to begin sculpting dolls. Helen's newest creation, Claudia, is one of her favorites. Claudia recently won a blue ribbon at an IDMA, International Doll Makers Association show. Claudia is based on one of her granddaughters, but she's dressed her how she loves children to be dressed, very Victorian, sweet and innocent. Claudia, created especially for you by Helen Carr, is available exclusively from the Hamilton Collection. We hope you enjoy Claudia for many years to come. And I am the lucky owner this time around. It just looked like there was something printed behind that, but I don't think there is. So this is her little um, hand tag. And posing instructions. So we'll read them in a bit. And then this is her certificate. Number 4958B, maybe. I wonder how many she made. Anyway, this is her information on how to position her. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. We'll have a look at that together. Right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. I'm going to lower you down a bit. Okay, I know you won't be able to see her very well this way around, but when I take her out of the box, you will be able to, which is why I've lowered you down a bit, and I'll probably bring the table up, actually, this little table up here. I've got all the bits on, put all the bits in the box there, put the table in front, and you should be able to, I should be able to stand her on here, and then you should be able to see better, because, you know, we're all dolly collectors here. See, here's my ticket. Here is the winning ticket. Two, three, nine. <laughs> right then, little lady. Come here. 
to your mama. Let's see if your new aunties can see you very well there. I think if I take you down one more level, I don't think you're going to be able to see her very well. I'll bring her to so you can see her face. Uh, I move that a little bit out of the way. And then turn this. Right, there we go. So this is her face. Ready? Take off the plastic. It's protecting her. Oh, is she beautiful? I'll lift her up so you can just get a first look at her face. Isn't she pretty? She's porcelain. I'm not quite sure what her eyes are, whether they're glass or not. No, they're not glass eyes. But even her eyebrows, brilliant. I mean, some reborn artists still can't live and do eyebrows. And I'm not moaning about anybody in particular because I can't reborn. <laughs> so, but you know, and she got a little dimple, a little dimple on her chin, her teeth. And look at her locks. This is just such a Victorian doll, isn't it? So, Vic I mean, Victorian looking. A little bit of fluffy there. I don't want to pull her ringlets out too much. But I will tease them a little bit um, when I get playing with her. Because she's been packed in a box for a long while. Oh, look at her lovely little ringlets. Wow. Wow. So she's also got some protection around her wrists. So we'll get that off right away. She's not dusty or anything. I thought I might have to dust her off, but she's not. She's had a little handy pandy. And the other little handy pandy. I think her arms go up to here. Kind of like, almost feels like she's got an armature in her. She has. I won't mess about with her too much because well, we've got we've got the posing thing that tells you how to pose her. Oh, oh can't do it very well. Fingers, raw fingers, and thumbs these days. I don't want to take her hat off in case I get it wrong. Mind you, it's up underneath the collar of her coat. So we will take it. Oh, gosh, and there's one right at the top. I do like poppers as opposed to buttons, but... Wow, this one's hard. Where is it? <laughs> oh, I wonder if it looks like it might have been sewed, sewn on to keep it together, actually. So we'll leave it like that for a minute. I'll have a better look at that when I've got her off the stand. But her coat is so thick and detailed. Oh, it's got a little rib thing. Oh, that's so lovely. So it's like, um, oh my God, I don't know what the material is. But it's absolutely beautiful. Let's tighten you up a little bit. It's absolutely beautiful. Those little white buttons. They're painted. A lovely little collar, which was like up a little bit because the uh, the tie from the bow of the hat. So the bonnet is the same colour and material. It's kind of like a felt, but a really soft and thick felt. And so the coat is like that. And then the coat is lined in tartan and we all love tartan at Christmas. The coat is lined in tartan. And then underneath, she's got a beautiful tartan dress. And even that has got detail. It's got rickrack going around the frill at the bottom. It's um, from her chest down is gathered on the dress. And then she's got old-fashioned bloomers underneath. <laughs> and her legs are covered as well. So let's get her... Stuff off of her legs. What did I do with that knife? 
putting here out of, out of the way before Auntie's seen it and got worried that Emma Jane was going to get it. There we go, that's that one. Just trying to get the elastic off without breaking any of the material. I'm right down there now. Oh! <laughs> Where are you going, aunties? Hey? Oh, it doesn't want you to go down that far. I'll move her back a little bit. And see. There we go. Now you can see. Sorry. Such good protection on her. Oh, look at her little socks. Look at her little socks. She's got her cute little frilly socks on. Lovely little patent shoe boots. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we were all getting excited then, and Caroline, and then your silly tripod, I think. The, the, um, the thread is gone. In like the holder when I when I do it too too much down there. Oh, her little shoes have got little frills on. Annie would like that. <laughs> her shoes are so cute. Let me show you. I think I'm blocking out the light a little bit, so I will um, show you a bit more. I'll take her off the stand a minute, just so I can. Oh, I don't want to break the stand because it looks really, the stand looks old enough as it is. There you go, sweetheart. Let's just get the stand stuff off the stand, and your aunties can see you a bit more better. Oh, she is really cute. What do you think, then, aunties? I mean, I absolutely love her dress um, and her coat. I mean, it's not it's not often today you get such good quality outfits. You know, I sometimes think that quality has gone on, on items the same. Anyway, who am I? Who am I to know? I don't know. Just, just things I notice. But anyway, here we go. It's very well wrapped and protected, which I don't know if the seller did it, did that, or the lady who organised the doll show, but obviously we're all doll fanatics, and so she organised the show and did that as well. So let's... um. Move you down a little bit more and read the thing about posing her, shall we? I'm going to have to, um, what am I doing? Lifting you up, lifting you up another one, lifting you up another one. There you go. <laughs> and you're even closer now to her. Right, let's tighten them up. So you don't move any further. And there we go. Let's have a look. This is um, the stand. Unfortunately, I've just noticed has got. Can you see? It's got a bit of. Um, rust on it and I suspect she's been sat in a window or somewhere where she's got a bit damp and it is on her bloomers you see that on her bloomers what I'll do for now just because I've opened her and I'm going to pose her I will put her back on there but I will put these bloomers on there and then I'll take the bloomers off wash the bloomers and wash the stand but I won't take them off now because It'll get on her on her cloth body, and we don't want it on a cloth body. We just want it. Well, we don't really want it on her on her um, bloomers, but it's already on her bloomers. Do, do you know what I'm saying? 
So there we go. And then I'll take it off and sort her out, clean her up. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. Right, we won't do mess about with getting that off. We're just going to pose you. That's what we're going to do. And I bet I can't do this up now. Cause... There we go. It's really pretty ribbon. I do like ribbon that has like the wire on either side of it because it enables you to be able to pose it better. This is stiff. It doesn't have the wire in, but it's quite stiff. You can't see. There we go. Um, what I'll do now then is I'm going to turn around this way because the light will be better for you. Because <laughs> you get a different view. Oh, I think I better put a log on the fire as well. Hang on. No, the fire is still going, so we're all right. Okay, let's have a look at what this says. Posing instructions for Claudia. Congratulations. Hang on, I just need to rest my arm on my knee because otherwise it shakes and I can't hold it up very long. Congratulations on the arrival of your new Claudia doll by Helen Carr. Please take a few moments to read the following instructions for unpacking and posing Claudia. Remove all packaging from Claudia. Locate her puppy, her muff and sleigh props. Position Claudia in a standing position facing you with the bottoms of her feet placed firmly on the doll stand base. They are. Claudia's arms are wired, so you may pose her easily. Position her right arm so it rests comfortably at her right side. Okay. There we go. Position your... So it's comfortably at the right side. You've got both feet on the floor. Mm -hmm. Place her muff in her right hand and the ribbon attached to the muff over her left shoulder, then down her back, crossing over the back of her body, meeting the muff in her right hand. What? Hmm. Place her muff in her right hand here. Yeah. The ribbon attached to the muff over her left shoulder. Yeah, doesn't it just go like that? Don't want your lovely hair out of the way, darling. Don't want to mess up the hair, do we? Want to make sure you're kept warm with the muff. In your hands, let's see. Go underneath there, won't it? Oh my gosh, her hair is so beautiful. Bend her, the palm of her left hand, the left, bend her left arm so the palm of her left hand faces her right and her fingers point towards you. Okay. Place the sleigh to Claudia's left and the painted design facing you. S sloop the sleigh, the loop of the sleigh cord over her left hand. Okay. Get the sleigh. There we go, Auntie. So we've got a sleigh. Place the sleigh to Claudia's left, the painted design facing you. Well, both the painted design are face. facing. Slip the loop of the sleigh cord over Claudia's left hand. I'm wondering how we do that. Seem to undo this. Is it glued? It's very tight. Oh, there we go. I think we got it there. 
So do you doing that like that or where are these attached then? Maybe they go in there. Maybe they go in there. I think the colour has also come off this uh, the bottom of the sleigh. So I'm not sure if... You up a little bit, Claudia. Okay, there we go. Not sure if, um, whether to re give it a bit of a respray on the, on the sleigh or it looks old anyway because it's meant to be old. Place the plush puppy with the reindeer antler headpiece. In the sleigh seat. Make sure Claudia's hat bow is neatly tied under her chin, slightly off centre to her right. It is. Your Claudia doll is now ready for display in your favourite location. <laughs> so there we go. Look, that's what we did. We just did all of those. Read all of those together and we've positioned her. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? <laughs> like she's gorgeous. She really, really is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, do you know what? I mean, she needs to be on one of those spinning one stands. Or like a cake stand that spins. <laughs> Ross would be like, oh, you're making a cake. No, love, it's for my doll. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love her. What do you think, aunties? Oh, what a prize. What an absolute lush prize to win. I'm so grateful. She's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Oh, my God, I love her little muff. <laughs> oh, dear. I remember, like, when I was a kid and people still had those in the winter at school. Things like that. Let me give you a nice close-up now of her, aunties. Okay, let's start from the bottom. She is so pretty. She is so, so pretty. Well, it's going to wobble a bit because I'm now I'm only holding on to this thing with one hand. So I'm a good, oh, look at her hair. Look at that. Wow. Little socks and shoes. Oh. So, so lucky. Unfortunately, oh, our bloomers are showing. <laughs> Mara, they're going to come off now. Get soaked in a wash. Her hair. Don't want to play with it too much because ringlets come out, don't they, if you play with it too much. But I do think it just does need a little bit of a teasing out. Ooh, get back up there, mister. My uh, middle daughter will be over at Christmas and she loves doing hair. So if she thinks I've done it wrong. And I know I've pushed the hat back, the bonnet back. It probably should be like that. But I pushed it back so you could see her face better. But look, she's even got fur there to match her little muff. Oh, little hand muff. Oh, so cute. Her little shoes, darling. And there is her little dog. <laughs> I think he needs a Christmas tree in there as well with him don't you think and a present oh maybe a stitched hanky you know an embroidered hanky or something it needs to be as a gift oh you are so lovely lady you really are 
So there we go, aunties. Thank you very much for joining us as we unboxed our lovely new lady, who is going to be awesome for our Christmas display, isn't she, Emma Jane, hey? And Emma Jane is, you ready for bed now? She's tired, she doesn't want to stand up, but I mean, made her. <laughs> We're going to read a story, so it's all good, aunties. So thank you very much for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.